So today we're going to be checking out the Beta 7 speakers from Stark Sound. So I've had these speakers for a few months now and I've pretty much put them through its paces. So as you can see on the left and right I have the speakers here and they also come with a pretty gnarly stand which I'll talk about here in a minute. But I've been mainly using these speakers as two channel since they only sent me two and I say two channel because I I would say 90% of the content that I watch on these is here in my living room watching like YouTube and pretty much yeah pretty much I just watch YouTube in here but I did take some time out to listen to some music on these speakers which I will talk about but before I tell you my thoughts let's talk about the specs of the speaker so the beta 7s were designed specifically for two channel playback so you know for those of you that are two channel enthusiasts this speaker should be right up your alley and since it's designed for two channel and not home theater you should get more of a I guess a neutral sound which is pretty much what I found with these speakers when listening to them but we'll, we'll talk about that here so as far as specs it has a 1.15 inch tweeter and a 7 inch mid bass driver and the max X XPL is 110 decibels which is it's pretty high and then for recommended amplifier power you have 40 to 200 watts and the frequency response is 39 hertz to 20 kilohertz and these are 4 ohm speakers with a sensitivity of 87 decibels so these are 4 ohm speakers so make sure you have a powerful amplifier receiver however you're going to be powering these I am just powering these through a Marantz receiver that I have here in the living room they don't require a whole a lot of power to sound good but obviously you know for ohms you want to feed them as much power as you can up to those 200 rate watts that are rated so that you can get the best experience I don't remember what the wattage is on the Marantz receiver that I'm using but you know two channel I'm, I'm probably getting somewhere around 100 130 watts per channel so as you can see these speakers are they come in two two different colors you can get them in black or you can get them in this kind of like tannish color that I have it is a vinyl wrap so these aren't like high-end you know hi-fi speakers as far as looks and probably build quality this is probably made with like MDF but they still sound really good now on the front of it you've got this this white face and then you've got the you know you've got your woofer you've got your tweeter and then you've got some mounting points for the grill that I have here and the grill is not magnetic it does have these four pegs that you know you pop into the speaker in this day and age I still can't figure out why companies continue to make speaker grills that are not you know are not magnetic speaker grills it can't be that much more to include you know magnetic speaker grills but who knows maybe they didn't put them on here so that they can meet a certain price point which reminds me I believe these speakers are 750 a pair let me check that yes these speakers are 750 a pair so pretty reasonable for you know a pair of a pair of speakers again not super expensive again these aren't hi-fi speakers I don't think these are meant to be high-end speakers I think there's just speakers to kind of get you into the to entry point of at least to me the entry point of two channel and then you know you can work your way up into two channel hi-fi but these speakers play really well so as I said I 90 90 percent watch like YouTube out here so you know with the receiver and the beta sevens you're gonna get a much 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 better experience than just listening to your TV speakers Actually, I was at a, I was at my parents' house yesterday. My aunt was visiting, but I was at my parents' house yesterday, and you know, my parents we were watching a movie. And my parents have a, a TCL TV, and then they have a cheap sound bar that I bought from Best Buy years ago when I was living when I was living with my parents, and I just left her there. And even with that cheap sound bar, the audio still isn't that great. And I kept thinking, man, I need to, I really need to upgrade my parents soundbar to something else that has more drivers that's going to play louder and that's going to be clearer we had the we had the soundbar and the tv speakers running at one point and it was 
I still couldn't hear cer certain parts of the dialogue. So I say that to say, if you're somebody that's coming from TV speakers and maybe you want just like an incremental upgrade, maybe not an incremental upgrade, but an upgrade over just your TV speakers, go with something like a, a receiver. And even if you can only get two speakers or a sound bar, but in this case speakers, you're gonna get a much better experience. And yeah, anytime, for whatever reason, if I can't use, if I'm swapping out speakers and I'm just listening to the audio on the TV, it's, it's a horrible experience. But these speakers actually did pretty, pretty well. They sound really good. Again, to my ears, they're very neutral. Uh, I didn't, I, I've never cranked them up to see if they really distort. But, you know, if you have these speakers, you can let me know down in the comments what you guys think if you've cranked them. I don't need to crank YouTube because it's YouTube. I just need to be able to hear what I'm watching, you know, when I'm cooking and stuff because I have an open floor plan out here and you can probably hear it's a little bit echoey in here because I don't have any or hardly any acoustic treatment. But as far as music, I was very impressed. After watching YouTube content for a few months before I actually started like, man, I need to get, I need to review these speakers. I was like, let me sit down and listen to some music, some high quality music and yeah, I was I was impressed. These things image pretty well. They have a very good uh, center center phantom image. So I have them kind of towed into the to the main listening position on the couch that I'm looking at in front of me. And yeah, I listened to some some new Erin Kinsey. If you haven't checked her out, go check out her 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 music. Awesome, incredible music, country. I typically don't like country unless it's like Shania Twain or Aaron Lewis, but I started hearing some of her music and I was like, I like this. And yeah, she's got a new album coming out, I think eight songs and they're all amazing. So listen to that, you know, listen to your standard or my standard, you know, type of music, alternative, you know, Linkin Park. I listen to Low Pro, I listen to Stained, I listen to some Seven Dust and everything seemed to image very, very well. There was times where I was like, is there a center channel speaker there? I know there's not, but that's how good they sounded. Very good imaging. Again, I didn't necessarily crank these speakers because I'm in an open floor plan. It's echoey. It's not going to sound that good anyway. I like my hearing and I don't want to hear, you know, a bunch of stuff bouncing all over the walls for however many seconds. So I never really cranked these things. So I honestly, I don't know how they sound at a higher level if they're just, if they will distort. I'm assuming if you prop if you drive these pretty hard, just because you know they're they're not like hi-fi speakers, they probably will distort. But I kept it pretty reasonable, and I mean I was jamming, and I was pretty happy with what I was hearing. Very neutral, very warm, but also very lively in a good way. So, yeah, I I was very impressed with these speakers. I've been using them like I said for probably man. When did I get these speakers? Three or four months ago? So it's taken me a little bit of a while to, to get the review and she's been so busy. Now that stuff's kind of died down after CDA, I can kind of sit down and start getting some of these reviews out. But yeah, I mean, they're really good. And, and as I said, they came with this kind of gnarly stand. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the stand. Uh, you know, when they sent them to me, it, you will have to assemble the stand. It's not anything like hard or difficult. But I was just like, this is an odd design for a speaker stand. I, I don't think it's ugly, but honestly, I'm just not a big fan of this. I would have rather I would have rather something a little bit more modern. These kind of look like they were trying to go for uh, you know a more, I guess a more modern look. But I'm just happy with your regular stand. You know, it's got the the base, the feet. The pole and then the top part for the speaker to sit on these just they just uh, to me they just look out of place you know maybe if you have a different type of setup and your room is a lot more modern and you've got these very eccentric pieces maybe it'll fit in but just for my application they just don't really fit into the room well and to me it just kind of stands out but again they're just speaker stands they don't have any impact on the speaker it is nice that you can actually get these I'm assuming you have to buy these Stark Sound did send these speakers and the stands to me for review. But yeah, this is going to be a, a quick one. Again, there's not a whole lot to say because they only sent me two and I'm not using them in like a home theater application. But 
in the way that I am using them just to watch you know general content and occasionally listen to some music I'm very happy with these speakers so stark sound beta sevens let me know if you have these speakers let me know if you plan on picking these speakers up and if you do have them let me know what your thoughts are what type of application you're using them in all right guys that's going to conclude it for this review of the stark sound beta sevens thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video